Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is AWS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we'll try and understand why regions are extremely important in AWS. What are regions, what are high availability regions, etc. and much, much more. This is directly related to your data compliance and data sensitivity. So it's an extremely important that you get a good overview about the regions first. This is the part five of the Amazon Web Services full tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out so that you don't miss out on any of the previous episodes to continue your learning journey. If you have any doubts, just ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I request you to kindly do so. All right, so let's talk about AWS region details, right? So if you see, AWS has presence in so many different regions or countries, right? And a region is nothing but every, it's a physical location around the world, right? Now, let me give you an example. Talk about United States. There are some, these are regions where you have data centers or physical locations. Similarly, if you talk about Asia or APAC, you'll have it in India, China, Japan, right? So there are multiple regions. Europe has its own. Middle East has its own and to get a complete list of uh, details about the regions, you can click on this link that I'm providing in the description box below. So you can see that um, this, this will display all the regions and the availability areas, right? So for example, if you see North America, so you can see where all it is, right? Now you take hover the mouse over and you can see the details in the map. Similarly, in the Middle East, you can see what's the coordinates of this particular uh, in um, in APAC in in each region it has its own uh, US East US West right so these are all the regions where they have the uh, physical data centers right so next time whenever you hear the word region it means it's a physical location around the world where we have clustered data centers right and what is a data center where your data is stored right for beginners, let's start uh, relating it to that way. Now, the each region, right, will have something called availability zone, right? So what we call it is each group of logical data centers becomes an availability zone. So for example, in one region, you may have multiple regions, right? So those grouping of data centers together becomes availability zone, right? Now there is also something called as AWS local zones, right? So AWS local zones place compute, storage, database, and other AWS services closer to end users. Now this is an important uh, thing that to remember. Let's say if you are building a data transfer service, right? Let's say file sharing service or something which you require data to come inside some other region. Let's say you are uploading something from APAC region, let's say India or uh, UK, right? The data needs to come from that region to US, right? So the nearest point will be chosen so that the upload speeds are increased, right? So that is referred to as AWS local zones. So these are some of the critical words that you will hear every time you work with AWS. That's the first thing I would say rather, right? And how do you relate to it, right? So you can go here. And now I'll show you here. You can see, you see the regions, right? So you see US East has two regions. One, these are the two physical data centers. One is in North Virginia, one is in Ohio. Similarly for West, it, it's in Oregon and North California. APAC, if you see Mumbai has one, Seoul, Singapore, Sydney. So these are all the different regions that are available. So you will choose one which is closest to you, right? And that way the speeds will be increased and your data will be stored in these particular data centers. Now, this is also important because if you see that if you have some data critical uh, compliance issues, right? Let's say, let me open it again for you and show you. So if you are saying that, no, my data should not go out, right? My data should not go out. So then that it comes under compliance and data residency. So you can choose and say that this particular age AWS region that is close proximity to desired location, right? You can choose the region 
which is close proximity to your desired location right similarly if you have something called if your data is extremely critical right and if it's exposed to something which can have earthquake this or some other thing like that right so there is also something called high availability regions right so that is something that is configured for fault tolerance and low latency right so go through these i would say to improve your knowledge improve to understanding of the different terminology that aws uses with respect to regions i have covered some of the basic ones but i would encourage you to kindly start going through these links which will only help you to improve your knowledge and overall learning of aws all right i hope uh, it's clear to you now uh, about regions of how to choose you can choose any one that's you want to work with there is no um, issue or there is no extra cost to it right you are just telling that it's closest to my particular region and that's what you're selecting all right i hope it's clear to you in the next tutorial onwards we'll start with an extremely critical and important uh, topic which is security we just uh, checked out the regions in aws header section in the next uh, episode extremely critical the first thing that you should talk about aws is the security setting up the users their roles their permissions also known as iam which is identity access management without this you don't know aws without this you don't talk about aws so this is the first thing you'll talk about when you talk about aws let's learn that in the next episode i hope you're learning i hope you're enjoying i hope you're finding these tutorials useful and helpful if you have any feedback comments questions queries please drop me a note i'll be happy to discuss with you thank you so much for your support please do subscribe and like the video